Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert your website from non-secure HTTP to uh, secure HTTPS. I'm not going to go into details why it's very important for you to do it now that Google uses that as a ranking factor and uh, also has a little uh, padlock uh, missing and saying insecure. Uh, so you definitely want to go and do that. Uh, unlike many other videos that you might have seen, this one is going to go through all of the steps, uh, not just how to install a SSL certificate. So what are the steps? There are uh, six steps. Um, so you've got to get yourself a certificate. It'll be a free one from SSL for free. Then you want to update your WordPress address once you've installed it. And then step number three is going to be update your WordPress website database to use HTTPS. You'll be using a search and replace WordPress plugin for this step. Um, and then you'll uh, set up a 301 redirect um, and canonical for all traffic to use HTTPS. And this is going to be done uh, through um, cPanel in your hosting uh, by editing htxs or .htxs file. And step number uh, five, and I'm going to show you that as well, is you want to go into your Google Analytics and Google Search Console. Um, formerly known as Google Webmaster Tools, and you want to make adjustments in there, very important. Otherwise, Google's not going to know that you've changed the address. And number six is check your website. Check, check and make sure that it's actually secure. There are no exceptions. Uh, and optionally, if there are exceptions, uh, I had to use for my website's um, SSL Insecure Content Fixer. It's a WordPress plugin. Uh, because the template I'm using um, was still showing HTTP instead of HTTPS. So let's dive right into it. All right, we're at step number one, SSLforfree.com. We put our website address. Uh, we make sure that we go into manual verification. and then we say manually verify domain then we'll be able to download uh, file one all right it's downloaded there uh, download file number two also downloaded so uh, then we have to follow the steps as per uh, SSL for free create a folder named dot well known uh, under our hosting and I'll show you where that's done okay so we're in the C panel you want to go into file manager that will give you this screen you want to be into the root of your folder of the website and create a folder called well known once you've created that folder once you've created that folder, you want to create another folder inside of it called Acme-Challenge. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we go into well-known and we say uh, new folder, Acme-Challenge, create folder. Now that we created those folders, we want to upload those downloaded, those two downloaded files to the Acme-Challenge folder. So we're going to go into that folder, we'll say upload, I'll select files, mine's uh, in the downloads, select the first one, done, select the second one, done. Now if we go back into the file manager under public underscore HTML, and the dot well dash known folder acme dash challenge we can see those two files so the next thing we want to do is uh, click uh, verify successful upload by visiting the following links in the browser see that gibberish is what you want to be seeing and the second link it works they both work so we've successfully uh, uploaded those two 
files. We are now ready to click on download SSL certificate that will actually download three different files. All right. You do have to scroll down and finally click download all SSL certificate files. And as you can see, they're downloading. Confirm download because it's a zip file, so I'm just going to say keep. It will be a zip file that we need to unzip. There it is. So I'm going to unzip it. I copy. And just paste it back. So I've got CA underscore bundle certificate, certificate.crt, and private key. We're going to go back into our uh, C panel and upload those three files. So we're going to go under security, SSL, and then we're going to go into private key. All right, once we're in the private key section, scroll down, choose file. It's a dot .key file, private.key, open, upload, successful. You then want to go back into the same section, which is the um, SSL, and you want to upload your certificates. So go in there. You choose a file, certificate, all right, Sell our, select our certificate.crt file, upload certificate, certificate for the domain such and such has been saved. We go back. Now that we're back in our SSL section, we're going to install and manage SSL, manage SSL sites. You wanna, so we're in manage SSL hosts. Scroll down, select our domain. Auto fill by domain. That looks good. And we'll say install certificate. You have successfully configured SSL. I'm happy with that. Next step is to go into your WordPress admin. Go into settings. General. And you want to make the WordPress address URL HTTPS as well as site address URL HTTPS. And save that. You then want to go uh, and update your WordPress website database to use HTTPS. Uh, and the best plugin I found is the better search and replace WordPress plugin for this step. So we're going to go back into our uh, WordPress admin uh, going to I've, I've installed the better search and replace in my plugins so to access that we're going to go into tools better search and replace and there's few op few options here for us so okay so the, inside the better search and replace uh, plugin you want to search for HTTP and you want to replace it with HTTPS. Select tables. You want to select all the tables. And you want to uh, first maybe run a dry run. See how many. I run the run, uh, dry run and there are 39 tables and uh, 3380 cells. Uh, nothing was changed because I ran a dry run. Um, so before you do this, you want to back up your database, look up how to back up your database. I've already done it. So um, run as dry run. I've unchecked that. You want to leave everything else exactly the way I've got it. And you want to run search and replace. 
Okay, we're going into our step number four, which is to set up 301 redirects in canonicals for all traffic to use HTTPS. This will be done um, using and pasting this text into our .htaccess file uh, that can also be found within, actually, that is within a cPanel um, a file. Um, browser. So back to our cPanel, file manager, inside the file manager and in um, the root folder there will be a file called htaccess or .htaccess so we want to highlight it and go into code editor. Once inside the code editor uh, for the .ht access file. I want you to go to my website. Um, there will be a link in the description. Uh, so go there. Uh, it will be exactly this article and I want you to copy this and paste it into your .ht access file. Like so. So we're going to insert it before everything else. Okay, that's the change we made. It's really a comment, uh, three lines of code, and another comment. Uh, again, you can uh, copy and paste from uh, my uh, article, my website. Uh, exact same uh, text and then we'll say save changes success it's time to go to our uh, step number five update Google Analytics and Google Search Console formerly known as Google Webmaster Tools so we're gonna go into Search Console we're gonna go into settings and we're gonna going to go into property settings and then we're going to flip that to HTTPS hit save success and then we'll go back one step and go into view settings and also flip that from HTTP to HTTPS and hit save. Now we're going to go into Google Search Console and unfortunately we can't change the existing property which is HTTP. Um, we have to delete the existing ones and just add property. So we're going to add property website HTTPS It's going to ask us to verify and the best way to do it is to use the recommended method. Actually we're going to use uh, Google Analytics, so alternate method Google Analytics verify. Because I'm already logged into Google Analytics. Okay, now uh, that we have verified HTTPS is um, owned by us. There is a little problem that I'm going to address in the video in the top right hand corner. Um, that can be sometimes expected. See what we expect to see is secure HTTPS. That's the one I've done before but the one that I just did says HTTPS however it doesn't say it's fully secure. It hasn't got that padlock. So I'm gonna top right hand corner click on that video if you've got the same problem. Uh, and I'm going to explain how to fix that. All right. I hope this helped you. Share it. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, again, top right hand corner will show you how to address this not fully secured, no green padlock issue.